and you're making me laugh. I have an eyelash in my eye. Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen I want to share a really quick and easy treat with you that's so perfect for this time of year. These are my fruity Rice Krispie treats. Now I made them not too long ago for a party I went to. It was a kid's birthday party, a first birthday party and everyone raved and they've been around for a while. I keep seeing pictures pop up of these and I figured I wanted to share with you because it really is the perfect treat to bring to like a party, whether it be Easter, first birthday, a baby shower, even a wedding shower. They're so fun and they are absolutely delicious because I make mine a little extra gooey and they're so good. The texture of these is just bomb diggity and I think you are going to love them. You can be playful with you know the, the cereal that you use but I think this particular combination which is sort of the classic for a fruity crispy treat is the best and the combination of the extra marshmallows and stuff just makes them to die for. Don't take my word for it, just make up, you'll understand. And when I posted a picture of these on my Instagram stories, which if you don't follow me there you should, link down below, everyone, I literally got hundreds of people asking for the recipe. So I'm going to share it with you because it's a great one to have in your back pocket and you can have your kids help you make them. And if my kid wasn't outside playing bubbles right now, she may be in here too, but those are way more fun. <laughs> the list of ingredients is very short sweet. You'll need a combination of your rice cereal and your fruity cereal. Now you don't want to do half and half because it will be too strong of a fruity flavor. So I do three quarters of the rice cereal and then a quarter of um, the rice, the, the fruity, but you can do half and half. You can do whatever your heart desires because you're the boss applesauce. You need lots and lots of mini marshmallows. You'll need some unsalted butter. Then you need some vanilla and a pinch of sea salt. The sea salt might sound crazy. You don't, they don't taste salty, but it makes them salt. In sweets, does the same thing that it does in savory foods. It sort of brings everything to life. It opens up your palate and it makes something taste even more delicious. So in a big pot, you need butter. I never follow the ingredient in the back of the pan, on the back of the box because they're just not gooey enough for me and that's just not how I roll. And I also do not put this amount of Rice Krispie Treat mixture in a 9 by 13 because nobody wants a thin Rice Krispie Treat. I want a thick, gooey, delicious Rice Krispie Treat. So for this amount, a 9 by 9 is perfect, a 9 by 9 pan. If you use a 9 by 13 and you get thin Rice Krispie Treats, I'm going to come over. Don't let me catch you do that. Use a 9 by 9 because if you're going to make a treat, you might as well go all the way, right? I'm just going to wait for the butter to melt. I don't want to really burn this and I want to I don't want to brown it because I do love brown butter in regular Rice Krispie treats, but with the fruity flavor, it just comes a little bit off for me. So I'm just going to melt this until it's just about fully melted and then we add in the marshmallows. Beautiful. Now you're going to add all of your marshmallows and you're just going to cook this on medium low heat. I don't want to burn the marshmallows. You're just going to cook this until everything just melts. And this is when I like to add my pinch of salt. You don't need a lot. You could use regular salt, like reg regular table salt, but I like sea salt. And you just mix, mix, mix until all the marshmallows are pretty melted. That looks so gooey gooey. I'm going to add a splash of vanilla. Stir that in. Oh, it smells so good. As soon as that vanilla hits, you're in business. Then you add your cereal. Mix that all in. I'm telling you, these were such a giant hit at the party. And that's when I knew I had to share it with you because, I mean, you just don't know. It's like a crime. And that's funny because every time on my Instagram, if I share something in my stories or a recipe that, you know, could be a really simple thing that I haven't shared with you here. So many people get mad at me. They're like, you have to share it. And then I'll reply, like, but it's so easy. And I'm like, who cares? You're the queen of easy. We just need your simple recipes and ideas. And so no matter how easy things are, I've decided I'm going to share with you. So I'll get y'all that. All right. So everything's mixed. I turn this off. Oh, that is the best part. It's stuck on the wooden spoon, but I'm not going to embarrass myself right now. I'm just going to get it all off of here. Oh, look at that. 
See how ooey and gooey those are gonna be? Trust your girl. And then I've got a nine by nine inch pan ready and waiting. And these are gonna be thick and gorgeous. Now, they're really hard to spread with a spatula. So, mm. so take your hand, dip it in some water, and press them down. If it keeps sticking, just keep re-dipping in that water and that will make everything not stick, see? All right, just wanna pat these down It's even as you can manage. And it's really not, don't worry that it's really hot, it's really not, it's warm, but it's not that hot. Because once the marshmallow's melted, I just turn off the heat. All right, this is looking good. Now these just need to sit, cool, and set. Sit, cool, and set. I should have done all these t-shirt. Sit, cool, and set. And I'm gonna have these just sit on the side for typically like a couple hours. Doesn't even take that long. But I'm gonna just set these aside and when they are done, we're gonna cut into them and we're gonna dig in and you are gonna love them. All right, these have been sitting for a couple of hours and they are ready to be dug into. Oh, and they're gonna be so good. So sticky and so delicious. Oh my goodness. You can do like fun shapes too if you want to, like with using different cookie cutters. I'm not that patient, but you could. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. There's never been a better Rice Krispie Treat in your life. So sticky, dense but sticky and delicious. What was that? Mm -mm. That's a Rice Krispie Treat that's worthy of being on your treat table, on whatever the occasion, because I'm telling you, they are that good and they're so easy and they look festive without you having to do anything to them, but they really are so delicious. They're so good. You'll love them. And like I said, any, res any recipe, any occasion, whatever you got, they're just that good. The store-bought ones, nothing on this. Nothing. Learn in the kitchen calm. Got the recipe for you. Make them. Or just put. You won't be disappointed. I'll see you next time. Bye.